The Seventh Seal is a Swedish film from legendary director Ingmar Bergman. Considered one of his first mature works, The Seventh Seal tells the seemingly innate story of a holy knight returning home to Sweden to find his land plagued by disease. Upon his return, he encounters death and challenges him to a game of chess to bargain for his life. The knight proceeds to stall the game in order to finally perform one last act of purpose, having realized that his life had amounted to nothing. It's here in this delay that Bergman begins to create one of the greatest testaments against God I've ever seen in cinema. At the heart of the seventh seal, Bergman is asking if God's existence is even a good thing. If all the suffering, misery, death and despair that plagues the night's lands, is it really okay if God just sits silently above? Are we really to feel faith, joy, love and passion? for a man that does nothing to ail us of our torment, that sits above his stony, cold and desolate creation watching us suffer as we beg for his mercy and forgiveness. These are the questions the knight faces as he navigates his final days with death, witnessing the joy of family and love and the death and decay of humanity. The fear and punishment of the church juxtaposes the beauty and innocence of the family the knight travels with. Bergman's frame is unwavering and unmoving in the faces of these atrocities and this beauty. It forces the viewer like the knight to face the irony of worshipping an absent idol and truly think about why they would give their life to someone who simply sits in the dark. As the knight says, faith is a torment. It is like loving someone who is out there in the darkness but never appears, no matter how loudly you call. Life, after all, is one big game of chess. We choose how we play, and therefore we choose how we finish. Surely we should spend our time living peacefully with those who do return our cause of love, than die having spent our life praising something that never left the dark for us.